All right, yo, so I need somebody to explain to me what Phase 5 is going to be about. Okay, because I missed that. And we got Mr. Cosmic Wonder. He's going to do his thing. All right. If you're new, remember to subscribe, and I'll give my thoughts as well. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. And today at San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel has revealed the entire Phase 5 slate. And it has some really really exciting projects and it tells us exactly when phase four ends and when phase five begins and when phase five also ends so let's not waste any time let's jump right into marvel's phase five all right so marvel phase four actually ends with she hulk and black panther wakanda forever this is just a little bit more than they showed us when they revealed phase four previously but that was pre-pandemic now this is post so essentially phase four ends this year but before we dive into phase five they first gave us a huge reveal they actually gave us a first look at Charlie Cox's Daredevil who is going to be in the She-Hulk series and they did confirm this and gave us this still if you could take a look here it's actually the yellow Daredevil suit not the red one but the yellow one and although this is just a slight tease I am super super pumped for Daredevil to be in the MCU for Charlie Cox to be playing Matt Murdock once again and phase five starts with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania coming out February 17th of 2023. And we did get a new poster reveal for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania showing Scott Lang's daughter Cassie Lang suited up in her Pym suit, most likely going to portray the character's stature like she does in the comics. And we also got a new look at Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, if you take a look in the upper left here. Then coming in the spring of 2023 is going to be Marvel's Secret Invasion. Follow Following that is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming out on May 5th. Then we have in the summer of 2023, the Echo series coming, which should also have Daredevil in it as well. Coming up next summer of 2023 is going to be Loki Season 2. Then on July 28th of 2023, we're going to get the Marvels. Then we have an official date for Blade, November 3rd. 2023 next year now fall of 2023 we are going to be getting the iron heart series then in the winter of 2023 or 2024 marvel studios has not yet decided on which year we get agatha coven of chaos as the official title then and this is a big one of spring in 2024 we get daredevil born again charlie cox returns in his own series that is going to be 18 episodes long. And like we showed before, we got a little bit of a sneak peek of his new suit. Then here's another big one. On May 3rd of 2024, we are getting Captain America New World Order. This, of course, is going to be with Sam Wilson's Captain America, and I'm really excited to see it. And then we have... The Thunderbolts. We finally have an official announcement from Marvel Studios that the Thunderbolts is indeed confirmed. It is in development right now. It is coming out July 28th of 2024, and that will actually end Marvel's Phase 5. So here. Thank you, uh, Cosmic Wonder. I just needed a list, actually. Okay, um, I'm going to give my thoughts on this, man. But before I do my. Before I give my thoughts, obviously, I just want to say. Um, I think Marvel are doing too much, okay? Now, yo, hear me out, okay? The market right now is is, is kind of oversaturated, you know, to the point that I'm no longer getting excited for any of their projects. You know, I, I don't know, maybe it's because there's no Iron Man or Captain America. I'm talking about Robert Downey Jr. and Steve Rogers. Because, let's be honest, man, those guys, man, they made Marvel what they are. But, yeah... I think most of the problem is with the Disney Plus series. It kind of made me uninterested in, you know, in Marvel content, you know, and, uh, you know, with the, with Phase 4 being shit, you know, uh, Doctor Strange trash, uh, Thor Love and Thunder trash. I'm wearing off, man. I'm not excited for all this content anymore, you know. I mean, I'm, I, I, I know it's a business, but I think Marvel should slow down, okay? They're giving us too much. And, you know, sometimes giving somebody too much isn't what the person needs. You need a break. Like DC, people are craving for DC film right now because one of the last DC films that came out, you know, the little sneak peek of Black Adam, and Shazam, people were, you got people pumped. But Marvel, like, they keep, like, she -Hulk, we got she -Hulk next month. We, we just had Miss, uh, Cap, uh, is it Miss Marvel? Yeah. Like, come on, man. It's too, like, bro, I, relax, take it easy. But, anyways, let's react to this, um, 
let's talk about the phase five. So phase five, I'm going to be honest, man. I'm not excited for this phase. Okay. I, I'm just letting you guys know. And, and man, the warps again, they, they might, <clears throat> they might introduce Kang the Conqueror, which I'm excited to see, <clears throat> but I really don't, excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> I really don't get why he is like, like, is he going to be the villain? Like, you know, is there going to be multiverse madness, whatever? So I don't know, man. You know, it's, I'm a little, I'm a little bit, eh. Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm excited just because, you know, I've enjoyed every Guardians of the Galaxy film. I think it's interesting, funny, and just entertaining, period. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Now, Marvel Secret Invasion. I have no idea what this is about, man. It's a Disney series, I think, because I see they're on Disney+. Plus. Again, the content is too much, man. It's oversaturated. And then giving us Echo. What what the hell is Echo? Is it the lady that from Hawkeye who's I think deaf? I like bro, come on man. Marvel. There is no there's no Avengers. Like, where is the Avengers, bro? Like, am I missing something? And then we got Loki season two, which I, I really don't care about, to be honest. I don't care about Loki. After watching Loki season one, very disappointing, extremely disappointing. So I don't really care much about season two. The Marvels. All I can think about with this one is just woke as hell. That's all I can think about. And then Blade. Obviously, the last time we saw Blade was back in 2000. So it's going to be exciting time to see, you know, Muhammad Ali come back to play Blade. So it'll be interesting. Iron Hat, don't care. Agatha Coven of Chaos. I actually do want to see Agatha Coven of Chaos because there, there are things that, that need to be explained with this Wanda nonsense magic. That's I, you know, like because Wanda's powers were never really fully explained. And then we have Daredevil Born Again, Captain America, New World Order. Well, they should say Black Captain America. That's what they should say. Like instead of like saying Captain America, New World Order. I really don't know. How they'll take the story, like I just hope they won't push it like such a like a racist thing, you know, you know all that racial social injustice. Don't make it work, okay? We don't need that shit. Just give us a superhero, Captain America, okay? That's all we need. Don't say oh, cause he's black, is that like nigga? I don't want to hear that nonsense. Thunderbolts, and yo, that's it for Phase Five. So, I don't know. Like to me, I think Marvel should slow down. They're giving us too much. They're giving us too much, bro. And the more you give somebody something, the less they're going to enjoy your shit. It's how this life works. Take it easy. You know? I'm surprised there is no Avengers. Obviously, maybe have the Avengers. Well, you see, the problem is, they don't, wow, wow, the, the Avengers, they don't need to come together to fight who? They haven't built anything. You know? Like, I think it's can going to be like the big, like the new Thanos, or is it uh, the Celestials, which I don't think is, is the situation. So there is no uh, Avengers level threat. You know, when you got Captain Marvel can, that can blast somebody's head off. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I just want to know what Phase 5 will be about. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy and peace. Remember to subscribe.